and they can't even guarantee that. Steve Gregory coming oh, out, right, right. and he is going to preview this weekend's Where's episode of Unsolved right? with Steve Gregory. KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Oh, jingling bells, decking halls, and stimulating talk. KFI. And KOSC HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Numbers are up. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. At least 30 cases of the Omicron variant of COVID 19 have now been detected in LA County. Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer says most of the cases are in fully vaccinated people, some of whom got booster shots. None have had to go to the hospital and none have died. For example, no evidence to suggest Omicron causes more severe symptoms than the other variants, but it is more transmissible. News is brought to you by River Hero. Schools around the country have added extra security in response to threats posted online. ABC's Tony Yates says no one school was named in any of the videos. In Southern California, school officials say they are monitoring the situation and several districts have increased security. A teenager in Corona has been arrested on suspicion of posting threats of violence against his middle school. The 14-year-old boy was taken into custody at his home Wednesday. His parents cooperated with police and no weapons were found. A sanitation worker strike that could have caused trash to pile up across Anaheim and Huntington Beach is over. The deal sends hundreds of employees back to work this morning. Companies like Republic Services were calling workers uh, heroes, but treating them like zeros. Teamster spokesman Adon Alvarez says instead of bargaining for a new contract fairly, Republic Services engaged in unfair labor practices. There were comments made by management at Republic Services that any workers that participated or appeared in pictures or videos uh, would get into trouble for doing that. The strike started last week. Republic Services has said it respects all of its employees and their collective bargaining rights. In Huntington Beach, Corbin Carson, KFI News. LA County Supervisor Catherine Barger has taken a million dollars from her discretionary fund and given it to the Sheriff's Department. She says the department can use the money for things like overtime and patrol expenses. I think that the more law enforcement you see in the community, um, the safer the community is going to be. The money will be split between eight stations in our district, which covers 70 communities. California is losing some fans. A study by the California Policy Lab has found the number of people moving to the state has dropped significantly since the pandemic began, and the number of people moving away is on the rise. There was an almost 40% decrease in those moving to the state in September of this year compared to March of 2020. The study shows a 12% decrease in people moving out of state. Deborah Mars, KFI News. A pair of women at the two section of the city starts. Chris Knox as sexually assaulting them. They told the Hollywood Reporter that publicity about sex in the city sequels their painful memories of the incidents they say happened in 2004 and 2015. Knox denied the accusations in a statement to NBC News yesterday. After Alex Baldwin has to give up his cell phone to officials in New Mexico as part of the rest movie set shooting investigation. NBC's in Trevor Alt says the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Department issued a search warrant for the phone yesterday. Authorities are looking for possible evidence including text messages and emails related to the death of the cinematographer who was killed by the gun that Baldwin was holding during a rehearsal. Baldwin has said that he didn't know there was live ammo in the gun when, or there was live ammo in the gun when, he, when the shooting happened in October and says he never pulled the trigger. And the FDA is dropping a federal requirement that says women have to go in person to get an abortion pill. The change means women will be able to fill their orders at more pharmacies, including via online and mail-in orders. We're taking a drive on the 10. You bet you're both alive, but anyway, it's the west side of San Bernardino Freeway, coming away from the 605 right now, Tommy, and Baltimore Park Wall, that in Fort Sunday. It's okay, really, by morning drive center. No, with no problem. All lines are open, traffic is moving. Even the 60 is in pretty good shape, same thing. Uh, the west side again, it's always busy. It never gets wide open, that's for sure. But from the 605 in the past, it's a little bit slower. But uh, at least you get in the past, you know, that a major problem. Now, we're over this uh, long plane problem. This happened pre-dawn. If you just join us, eastbound 91 at Bloomfield. That's uh, east of the 605. Auto lanes have been shut down. They still are. 
the, the fatal crash, there was a fatal crash investigation. That's all over with now. A little bit of cleanup going on, but the lanes are still blocked. Again, that's all traffic must exit. Boy, it's really backed up for our students 710. All these surface streets got to got way busy, that's for sure. But at least you can get on the East 71 at Coronita. From there over towards the spot, boy, it's wide open. Stick with us. I'll let you know it's, uh, the, the minute this reopens. I'll let you know. Engine in action at business. Superwoman from superlawyer.com. Jeff Barnes, AFI in the sky. The Chargers now for the Kansas City Chiefs at SoFi Stadium by a score of 34 to 20. Yeah. Both quarterback Justin Herbert regrets not converting more downs. We're both talking. We'd love to be able to convert those. And uh, I think we need to be better on third downs. We're not in those situations. But we believe in the, we believe in the guys in that locker room and that huddle. And we believe in the defense. You know, unfortunately, we didn't convert as many as we would have liked to have today. But um, you know, we're going to ride with each other and we're going to be right back. Big basketball, the Lakers are at the Minnesota Timberwolves at 7. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. So many of our listeners have entrusted sweet James back on the journey in this time of need oh, after being oh, injured in an accident. Oh, and you know why. In the moments and days following an accident, people don't know what to do or who to turn to. Your life has changed. You're in pain. You might not be able to drive or walk. The worst part is the insurance company that promises to protect you will try to pay you the least amount possible for your injury. The people of Sweet James will not be so They'll help you get the medical care you need and help you get your life back on track. While their award-winning attorneys work on your behalf to get you the most amount of money possible, you pay nothing until they win your case. If you or someone you love has written an accident, call yes, 800 500 5200 800 500 5200 or sweetjay.com. Well, you're way through this holiday season with the LA Kings Holiday Pass. These pass includes one ticket to three or five LA Kings home games, plus a limited edition Blue Gabby Tropical Mug. To purchase, visit lakings.com slash holiday pass. Your KFI financial report is brought to you by Bay Alarm. The Dow is down 342, S&P down 20, and up 31. The average price of a gallon of unleaded gas in California is $4.67. Bay Alarm Advanced Video Security proactively protects your property, stopping crime before it starts. Sunny today and has a range from the low to mid 60s. Our next chance of some rain comes in Tuesday through Thursday of next week. We need local, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee. And this is uh, KFI AM 640. Candle here, uh, it's a Friday morning, December 17th. Not as cold as it was yesterday, but still, it's a cold, snappy weather. And uh, the big news that we're carrying today is uh, the news given out by uh, health advisors uh, to the CDC that most people in America should be given the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine, not the Johnson and Johnson. So, hmm.
These are trash. Hey, trash. Standing design defines the 2011 Cadillac Escalade ESV. The 2011 Cadillac Escalade with an advanced suspension system seats eight comfortably and luxuriously. Smooth gear shifts are achieved thanks to the powerful eight cylinder engine, and load leveling rear suspension maintains a comfortable ride. Well tuned suspension and stability control deliver a spirited yet composed ride and drive. Every detail has been rendered with intense precision. Up to seven passengers sit comfortably in the leather-trimmed interior. Top features include front fog lights, heated and ventilated seats, tire pressure monitoring system, and power front seats. The Platinum model features a rear seat entertainment system with four DVD screens to create a multimedia room on wheels. State-of-the-art amenities such as steering wheel memory and adjustable pedals yield a more personal driving experience. Other available features include high-intensity discharge headlights, power moonroof, and a blind spot monitoring system. The available sideline zone alert system provides added safety by notifying the driver when vehicles enter the car's blind spot. The 2011 Cadillac Escalade ESV Without a doubt, this is a technologically advanced vehicle for the sport-inclined driving enthusiast. Outstanding design defines the 2011 Cadillac Escalade ESV. The 2011 Cadillac Escalade with an advanced suspension system seats eight comfortably and luxuriously. Smooth gear shifts are achieved thanks to the powerful eight-cylinder engine, and load leveling rear suspension maintains a comfortable ride. Well-tuned suspension and stability control deliver a spirited yet composed ride and drive. Shifts are achieved thanks to the powerful eight-cylinder engine and load leveling rear suspension maintains a comfortable ride. Well-tuned suspension and stability control deliver a spirited yet composed ride and drive. Every detail has been rendered with intense precision. Up to seven passengers sit comfortably in the leather-trimmed interior. Top features include front fog lights, heated and ventilated seats, tire pressure monitoring system, and power front seats. The Platinum model features a rear seat entertainment system with four DVD screens to create a multimedia room on wheels. State-of-the-art amenities such as steering wheel memory and adjustable pedals yield a more personal driving experience. Other available features include high-intensity discharge headlights, power moonroof, and a blind spot monitoring system. The available sideline zone alert system provides added safety by notifying the driver when vehicles enter the car's blind spot. The 2011 Cadillac Escalade ESV. Without a doubt, this is a technologically advanced vehicle for the sport-inclined driving enthusiast.
is the main thing in this world of Disney Pixar. As a weird. Stay over the rest of Nine oh five. Ten hours depending on our train for figures. Ten hours depending on our train configuration. Ten hours depending on our train configuration. Now stand design the vines to them ever attack. Sorry, fire, sorry, too. Bears. Quiz. Stay out of the bathroom.
Ja, nou, dat is het kan niet aan het gaan, dat is het Yeah, I'm crying. March 4, 2016. March 4, 2016. Head over is a penny or shrink figuration. Treat yourself to a test drive in the 2011 Volvo XC70. Sophisticated and elegant, the 2011 XC70 with the available all-wheel drive delivers instant traction and hill descent control, continuing a tradition of safety and innovation. The XC60 features innovative city safety, a technology that detects stopped or slowing traffic and applies the brakes automatically to keep you and your passengers safe. This four-door, five-passenger wagon offers the latest in technological innovation and style. Smooth gear shifts are achieved thanks to the refined six-cylinder engine. And for added security, dynamic stability control supplements the drivetrain. Volvo perfected each and every component on the exterior surface. An attractive stance is achieved thanks to the alloy wheels glistening within the fenders. Volvo prioritized fit and finish as evidenced by delay off headlights, Bluetooth wireless technology, and a split folding rear seat. The available rear seat entertainment system features two 7-inch monitors and two DVD players built into the headrest. Storage solutions are integrated throughout the interior, demonstrating thoughtful attention to detail. Volvo also prioritized safety and security by including brake assist, anti-whiplash front head restraints, and four-wheel disc brakes with ABS. The 2011 Volvo XC70. Your friends are going to be jealous.
Tizzy Friday. Hey, Jess. Your friends are going to be Jess. Friends are going to be Jess. 